Tanya and Riaz and Ryan each used a bag of flour to make modeling clay. The bags were labeled three-fourths of a pound, one-fourth of a pound, and two-fourths pound. Show these fractions on a number line. How can you use the number line to compare two of these fractions? How can you draw a number line that shows fourths? You can mark a number line like this one, which has zero to one represented, divide it into four equal sections. Labeling and dividing the marks with one fourth, two fourths, which we also know is the same as one half, and three fourths. So what do you know about the value of numbers on a number line? What do you know about the things that are on the number line? You know that these values increase as you move to the right. So where will you locate one fourth on the number line compared to two fourths? I will locate one fourth to the left of two-fourths. Will you locate three-fourths to the right or the left of two-fourths? It will be to the right of two-fourths. So, since one-fourth is to the left and three-fourths is to the right, one-fourth is less than three-fourths. We could also say one-fourth is closer to the zero than it is the one. It's closer to the zero than it is this number, which means one-fourth is less than three-fourths. You can use number lines to compare fractions with like denominators. A fraction that is located to the right of another fraction on a number line is the greater value. Going this way is the lesser value. Now, if the bags were labeled 4 eighths, 3 eighths, and 6 eighths, how could a number line help you solve this problem? I could make a number line from 0 to 1, okay? So I can take that number line and I can divide it into eighths. So I am going to divide it into eight equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I can locate three eighths. and six-eighths and compare them to four-eighths, which is also one-half. So I can locate three-eighths and six-eighths and compare them. Three-eighths, one, two, three, there's three-eighths, and four-eighths, and six eighths, remembering that the ones to the left are lesser and the further to the right you go, the greater. Talia has two different lengths of blue and red ribbon. Does she have more blue ribbon 
or more red ribbon. Notice she has two thirds of a yard of blue, one third of a yard of red. Look at the numerators and the denominators of each of the fraction. First thing you should think to yourself is, what are you asked to find? You are asked to find, does she have more blue ribbon or more red ribbon? What is important to know before you compare the fractions? It is important to know that the size of the whole is the same. What is the same about the fractions and what is different? The denominators are the same. The numerators are different. So what is another way to tell which fraction is greater? When two fractions have the same denominator, like these, the fraction with the greater numerator is going to be the greater fraction. So the fractions both refer to one yard of ribbon. That's the whole. You can use a number line to compare one third and two thirds. Remembering the farther to the right, on the number line, the greater the fraction. On the number line, two thirds is farther to the right than one third. So, two thirds is greater than one third, which means Talia has more blue ribbon than red ribbon. Talia has an additional length of green ribbon that measures three sixths of a yard. Now, how can we use the number line to compare the length of the green ribbon to the lengths of the blue and red ribbons? Now, can I use the same number line? Actually, I can. Because I know 3 sixths are equal to 1 half, I can mark the halfway point on this number line, halfway from zero to one, and I know that is where three sixths will be found. So when I use the number line marked for thirds to show sixths, I see that one third is equal to two sixths. So I can take my thirds, remember when I double it, they become sixths. So one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, and five sixths. So I've used that number line and I see that one third is equal to one, or I'm sorry, two sixths. And two thirds is equal to four sixths. So the three sixths of a yard or of the green ribbon is greater than one third of the red ribbon, but it is less than, that three sixths is less than my four sixths or two thirds is really what, what they marked it in the initial problem. When two fractions refer to the same whole, what do you notice when the denominators you are comparing are the same. What do you notice? We have the same whole. What do you notice when the denominators you are comparing are the same? 
I can compare their numerators. Or I can use one number line to compare them. Now, write a problem that compares two fractions with different numerators. This could be different for anybody. Just think about two fractions with different numerators and you're coming up with your own story problem. Numbers three through five, compare the fractions using less than, greater than, or equal to. Use the number lines to help. Number three, we have two fourths and two thirds. Here is two fourths, here is two thirds. Which point is further to the right? the two-thirds, which means two-thirds is the larger number. So two-fourths is less than two-thirds. How about two-sixths and one-third? Here is two-sixths, here is one-third. Is one further to the left or right? No, they're both at the same point. So two-sixths is equal to one-third. Now we have 5 eighths and 3 eighths. 5 eighths is further to the right, which means it is greater than 3 eighths.